What's going on guys, Killer6, and today we've got some patch notes for you guys. Some pretty important stuff in this one. Some good changes, some changes that might be perceived possibly as nerfs. Yeah, there's one nerf in here, you'll see all about that. Let's dive into it. So, first and foremost, this update is for the takedown at the Malawan Black site to give us the level scaling. Whether you're playing as a single player, you'll get single player difficulty. If you're playing as two players, you get two player difficulty, obviously up to four players. Um, that is brought down from where it was at, where it was always four player difficulty all the time. So this gives single players a chance at the Malawan takedown, which is really cool. And if you didn't know, we're also doing a Malawan takedown event right now in the community. It's a community run event. It has nothing to do with Gearbox or 2K and there are cash prizes. And I'm also giving away my diamond loot chest for the, uh, the top performer of this competition. So uh, for more information on that, check the link down in the description below. All right, so let's dive into these patch notes. Uh, also, before we do that, uh, this also kicks off the start of the rare spawns increase week or two weeks. You got two weeks of rare spawn increase. So for the next two weeks, rare enemy spawns will be 100% that will always spawn every single time and their dedicated drop rates should be increased. I don't know how much they're increased. I'm hoping that they're up to like 30 or 40% drop rates, but I don't know, we'll see. But this is a great time for you to find all those pieces of gear that you need for all your different builds. Maybe try out some new pieces of gear, things that you've never farmed for. Um, there will be also a link down in the description below if you want to see specifically who can drop what as dedicated loot sources. And I will also possibly have a link down there for my previous rare spawns video that gives you a visual guide to where the rare spawns are. So with that, let's dive into the bug fixes. First and foremost, uh, they have addressed a reported concern that is a progression blocker when using glamour on the abomination during its alive. I don't know what that is, so I can't help you with that one. Uh, addressed an issue with item card and hotfix not showing information correctly. I don't know if that's going to fix things like uh, if you guys have ever had the companion pistol, uh, if you don't properly apply the hotfixes, it shows up as a epic level item instead of a legendary. I don't know if that's what that entails. I don't know. Anyhow, uh, address a report concern that Judge Hightower was not dropping items from his dedicated item pool. Now, this is an interesting one. This is one that I've been bringing up to them for a while now, and I'm glad that they finally got around to this. Uh, Judge Hightower on the map Electricity is supposed to drop a gun called the Scorpio XL. And he is the only source for that. That is his specific loot source. And nobody else in the game can drop that. So it'll be inter interesting to see if he can actually drop that now. He's also supposed to drop the carrier. I, I think he might have something else uh, in his loot pool. But again, check the, uh, the link down in the description for all the specific uh, drops as well. All right, they adjusted the balance of Fabricator, Freddy, Stanley, Constructor, Tony Bordell, Trixie, Nick, and Third Rail to provide a greater challenge. Developer note about this is that they noticed that the bosses in the Handsome Jackpot were not providing players with a satisfying challenge. That is just true. We will be monitoring these bosses and making adjustments as needed in the future. Basically, every single enemy in uh, that entire DLC is kind of a cakewalk, honestly. So it, it's good that they're increasing their difficulty. It just felt a little too easy most of the time. Uh, updated texture for the Incendiary Badass and Super Badass Varkid. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Updated a texture for the incendiary badass and super badass market. Could this be hinting at possibly something with something higher than a badass market coming soon? I hope. I don't know. The ion cannon. Now this is the one that's going to get people upset. The ion cannon now has a five second reload and consumes at least six ammo per shot. Now the reason for that is pretty obvious to anybody who's used the ion cannon. It is OP as hell. The Ion Cannon is a strong weapon. We don't want to change that, but it's a little overperforming. We've increased the reload time and made it consume more ammo, but left its damage unchanged to still provide a strong burst of damage. Um, I mean, basically, I've only ever used it for fight for my life. And even, even before, you know, these changes were, you know, in the works or whatever, I just didn't like to use it that much. It just felt like... I don't know. It felt too strong to me. I don't, I'm not trying to say you shouldn't use it. You you know, play your game however you want. Um, you know, if you saw my video on the flacker, then you probably know the reload trick to maybe get a little shoot a little bit faster. I don't know. We'll see how that works once this actually goes through. 
There's a couple of changes about adding collisions to prevent things from going off maps. Uh, they addressed some reported concerns that were caused by bouncing players on the Iridium Sea during the Troy's fight. I'm not sure what that entails there, but I do know that it was always fun to jump off his map and bounce back with the sea. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to do that. I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe that is uh, fixing the the trick that people were using to kill Troy instantly or whatever. I don't know. Uh, increase the radius of the new use station at the arrogant approach. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, addressed a reported concern that the swarm host for Hammerlock's hunt was not always spawning when returning to its cave after killing it the first time. Thank you, God. That one is a pain in the ass because, number one, you had to run all the way around the map to get to it. And then it wouldn't spawn sometimes. So... Uh, granted, when you'd save and quit, you would spawn like, you know, 20 feet from its cave. So it will be easy to farm now, and it's got some pretty decent uh, items in its loot pool. So make sure, you, again, you check that list down below so you can see what you need to go farm. Now, here is some big stuff. As if that other stuff wasn't kind of big enough already. But they have now increased anointed effectiveness for Operator, Gunner, and Beastmaster. Now, why not the Siren? Because she already has 300% damage increase after doing a phase slam. So she don't need nothing, all right? So Mose the Gunner got, while Auto Bear is active, deals 75%, that is up from 20%, bonus incendiary damage. That is huge. <laughs> that is a 55% increase, and I love it. Uh, Mose definitely needs these things. After exiting Iron Bear, the next two magazines, again, Mose, the next two magazines anointments, that, those are mm, mwah, masterpieces. Uh, her next two magazines will have 125%, which is up from 40% previously. Bonus incendiary damage. That is an 85% increase in bonus incendiary damage for the next two magazines, which again, with Moe's, if you're specced out right, you're never going to go through those two magazines. You're going to constantly have that 125%. This is huge for Moe's. This is huge for Moe's. Next one up, after exiting Iron Bear, gain 160%, which is up from 120%. It's 40%, 40 increase. Uh, increased splash damage for 18 seconds. So again, 160% splash damage for 18 seconds. That is nice. <laughs> All three of those anointments are great now for Moe's. I love them. Uh, when entering and exiting Iron Bear, Nova damage increased. I, I've i never really messed with that. Uh, Nova's on Mayhem 4 just feel kind of sad most of the time, but... We'll see. Uh, it doesn't say how much it increased it by, so we'll just have to wait and see. Zane the Operative. Now, you think those Moe's changes were huge. <laughs> Zane the Operative. While Barrier is active, accuracy increased by 60% and critical hit damage is increased by 70%. It was previously 30% on that critical hit damage. They increased it by 40% more. So you get 70% critical hit damage while your Barrier is active on that particular anoint holy crap <laughs> uh this this is good because this gives people something other than the sea and dead uh as an option i mean you can run any kind of build at this point and uh, if you're using the barrier you're going to get massive crit damage you have that huge accuracy bonus that that's awesome and then for the sentinel is active uh anointment you get 100% of damage as bonus cryo damage. It was 50%, which was already amazing. Now they've doubled it to 100%. Zane is in a really good place. <laughs> now we got Flack, the Beastmaster. While exiting Fadeaway, Nova damage increased. That sucks. <laughs> I don't care about Nova damage. And then his other, the other one for Flak is after using Rack Attack, you gain 50% crit damage for a short time instead of 25 is what it was. So they doubled that. All right, guys. So that are the, those are the patch notes. Um, I didn't read every single thing. I know a lot of people are like, okay, so you read too much of those stuff. The full patch notes will be at a link down in the description below if you want to go check those out. It's obviously always on Borderlands.com. If you scroll down on that main page, you can find it for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and tap the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Let me know in the comments section below what do you guys think of these changes. Do you think that the Ion Cannon, uh, we're going to call it a nerf. It's, it's a nerf, plain and simple. Do you think that it was too much? Do you think it's just right? Do you think that it should be somewhere in the middle? I'm kind of along the lines of I think it should be somewhere there in the middle. I think that the five-second reload, six ammo per shot is a bit much. 
Uh, I mean, we have the North Fleet and Borderlands to give us, you know, let us have the Ion Cannon. Maybe make it a little bit harder to get, though. I mean, to be fair, for something that's that easy to get, that's still a pretty good deal. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care.